Nine o'clock, we've just arrived at the private pick for today. Um, a gentleman I know from the car boot sale I go to on Saturday, and I've spoke to a few times, has messaged me on Instagram um, saying that he has some stuff that he's looking to get rid of. Um, I don't know the full story behind it, but I'm looking forward to going to pick through what he has. Now, he mentioned there's quite a lot of pieces here. Um, whether I buy the whole lot, we shall see, or whether I pick through and decide what I want. Um, but it's rainy today. Luckily, it's not hammering it down, which is quite good. The snow's all gone, which is nice. And it's Christmas week, so the last week of the vlog, which is also nice because it's hard to film every day. But anyway, I'm excited about what we're going to find today. Um, the plan is then to go home, finish off the packing and drop off the parcels from the weekend. I'll talk to you guys about the sales and what sales we had over the weekend. And then the plan moving forward is once again, list the 14 items and try and be finished probably by around sort of three o'clock today. Um, I have a busy week this week with doing stuff for the home. Need to do the Christmas shop tomorrow, which will be fun. Um, I've got darts on Thursday with the boys, which will be good fun. Uh, Friday's going to be a write-off, so I don't know how much vlog we'll get on Friday. But anyway, I will update you once I have finished a pick. Um, I'll try and film in there if I can. Um, he's pretty cool, so I think it'd be okay with me filming in there. So if I can, I will do. If not, I will update you once I finish the pick. So just agreed a good deal with... I'm not going to name his name. We'll call him the plug because I don't want to let everyone know who it is. So I won't get his face either because I don't want anyone walking around the boot sale finding him because hopefully we'll be able to do some business in the future. But we agreed at 2.40. Um, we're both very happy with that, aren't we, Plug? Yeah, most definitely. Very happy. So um, yeah, gonna load up the van and um, I better get listing because the loft's full and now the van's gonna be full. So I can't go out and buy any more until all this is listed up. So going to be a busy few weeks all right we're back from today's pickup and i am in the process at the moment of consolidating the shed so because we've got a lot of new stock that i need to get listed i needed to try and create some more space so this is work in progress i know it looks a bit of a mess anyway what i've managed to do is down here at the bottom i've been managed to create two empty spaces for some new crates i'm going to put in um, just round here, as you can see behind this box of unlisted stuff, um, we have a, another crate. Um, I've created two more spaces here for some more crates as well. Um, I moved all the books I have in the shed down to the bottom shelf. And what I've actually done is created two more crates there of stock. Um, bit more difficult to get to being on that corner but look it creates the space we need right now but i'm still consolidating so this is going to be my next ebay tip for you guys to consolidate your stock quite often so for instance what i've done here to create these spaces in b uh, what was five and six is actually moved the stuff over to um, d2 um it's weird it works out at d2 that's just the way the skew's gone but um i know where all of that stuff's gone and what i've done here on the a crates and actually i've got to mention i've also created this one as well is moved everything from a3 across to a4 and everything that was in a5 has now got across to a6 next to it so sometimes just moving things consolidating things can create you more space and now what I've actually done is created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight empty crates so far where I can start processing new stock. So yeah, consolidate, consolidate, consolidate. In the new year, I'm going to do a full consolidation and that is basically going through bin by bin. So taking all the items out of A1, for instance, checking they are still listed on eBay. If they're not listed, relisting them back up, uh, make sure everything is listed. So again, I recommend doing that every three to six months, depending on how much stock you've got. But this is work in progress. I know it's a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, we've got some songs on Spotify today. Um, so yeah, just working through that today. So yeah, my tip of the day is to consolidate your stock um, using the SKU system to know where things are um, and make your life easier to create more room. So that's it, eBay day is done. I'm off to the parcel shop, got a couple of things to drop off. I thought I'd go for a walk because it's quite a mild evening tonight. 
So yeah, the eBay day is finished, quite relieved. Um, tomorrow we have the Christmas shop. So I love this time of year, going to the supermarket and buying so much food, more food than you would ever need. Um, we have, I think seven people, maybe eight people over on Christmas day. Um, I love the hosting aspect of Christmas. I think that's what Christmas is all about. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that first thing. And then I've got a busy day ahead of drafting, listing, eBaying, like we all do. So appreciate you guys sticking with me on the vlog and I will see you tomorrow.